Okay, so I may have done it again. I have bought some more fish for the pond. Um, do not worry, I'm completely aware about stocking levels and water changes are, I'm keeping on top of them in order to make sure that everything's okay. Um, I didn't get any pictures of them actually entering the pond. I was at work, luckily my partner was very kind. She um, released them for me when they got delivered. So I've just got some pictures that she sent me, um, <laughs> kind of showing me what she did really. Um, and I would sort of comment along. But yeah, so I ended up going to uh, West Virginia Fantasies again. I saw this huge, absolutely jumbo, whacking um, goldfish come up, which is the one shown there at the bottom of the screen. And it really is a very, very big fish. I'll, I'll pick her up in a minute. And I really wanted a decent sized female that I knew would be producing eggs and I could potentially try and breed with in the future. This one was particularly interesting. It's got um, Coochie Benny in terms of the red lips, but it's also got a kind of reverse Tancho mark on the top of its head, which I found just a bit unique. And it seemed to be really lively in all the videos, nice and strong. Um, so you'll see that in a minute when I try and handle it. I did use a net. I, I, I say I didn't, I never use a net in lots of my other videos, but in order just to, to get it in the first place, I did, but I mean, that is a big fancy goldfish, if ever I've seen one myself. Really nice red color as well. Not quite as deep as the red on the males that I, I got from Westview Fancies. Th that does not matter. Um, really, really happy with this fish. And you can see that kind of compared to my hand. And I haven't got tiny hands, so you'll be able to sort of appreciate the size. Arrived absolutely perfect condition. Really, really good uh, contact with um, the people at Westview Fancies and yeah I mean I'm really happy Just hopefully it can be a, pair, a good parent fish tail is nice and split and how it should be double anal fins all the things that you would expect and I wouldn't have minded really if it didn't have uh, those things because just of the quality you know the skin looks really really nice and I thought I'd also show you, because I didn't just get the one fish, I got another male as well. Um, so that's four fish from Westview Fancies for this pond. Um, I've got a selection from Star Fisheries. I've got a few little odd bits, um, small kind of fish that I got from eBay. And then these final, these are the kind of final editions uh, from Westview Fancies. And this was one of the males that had that really deep, pattern and you can tell he's a male I was a bit shocked at first when I saw the size of those breeding turbicules and um, the, the breeding stars on, on, the, on the fins but I'm assured that you know they, they come and go as the fish ends up having a chase basically um, and to be fair I mean I don't mind it really does show that it's definitely a male and it was just the kind of slightly like off symmetry, symmetrical pattern, uh, which drew me to this male. So really strong, big, 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 big fish as well, but not, you know, not the same body shape as the other Joaquin, the female that I just had on screen. Uh, but that's just because of obviously, you know, the difference between male and female. But yeah, really happy with those fish and I'm really happy to potentially start uh, breeding and I'm, I'm probably I'm not sure if I'm going to do that this year it all depends on um, other things going on in my life you know take over um, and this is kind of my hobby so I want to make sure I do it you know I do it when I've got time for it I don't try and fit it in and not do it properly so I'll probably be might be next summer that I actually end up trying some breeding um, but I'm going to get everything ready for that now which includes making sure I've got the right fish, so I could potentially breed some calico. You can see I've got a calico on the screen there, which I wanted to show you. I think this one was the female, you can tell by that body shape. Um, and this was the very, very blue calico, which I've shown in a previous video, uh, when I went to visit Star Fisheries and I hand selected these fish. This one had the longer tail, the Watson eye length tail, or verging on Watson eye length tail, but really nice Jinmin on some of those scales. 
So I've got a good selection of fish now, I think. <laughs> That's what was the aim this year. Um, the pond is stocked. I need to address the filter situation um, to make sure that I can handle this bio load. I'm, I'm doing lots of uh, vacuuming the, the bottom of the pond. I'm doing water changes. I've got the plants growing to absorb some of the nutrients. But realistically, I do need to upgrade that filter because it's just a canister filter and I've ended up having to clean that out, you know, once, even twice a week, really, and um, with the amount. So I did talk about maybe building, or I am going to build, this top view Van Ranju pond. I'm going to plumb it into the same system, which is another reason I need a bigger filter. Um, and I've got this koi tub, um, which may work. I'm not sure if I'm definitely using it yet. I had an idea to put some pallets around it to kind of brace it. I know that it would bend. The person I got it off told me it definitely, it will warp when it's full of water. Um, I also got this free filter, um, which I may have a go at sorting out. I mean, I think I should. It's, it's a free filter at the end of the day, and it's a big capacity. It's going to end up having a lot of, um, I could put things like alpha grog in there, uh, you know, different sponges, and it's going to, bring a lot more filtration really for this pond which is what it needs so this is the kind of idea it will flow out of that that tub from inside the shed and um, there'll be a pipe going out into the pond which will mean it's all running on the same system doesn't need any more electricity um, so I've just started to collect bits really for that uh, I've got myself a bulkhead um, cockney koi I think this is that's where I got it from um, and it's going to go through that wall. I just wanted to keep it as simple as possible, really. So I've got as many different sort of locations, potentially to either house fry, house juvenile fish, but also maybe even to house the female um, if she starts getting chased a lot in the summer. I don't want her to, uh, and the other females, but the big one especially, I don't want her to knock her scales off um, or get damaged in any way so I also ordered this small part to go on the end which I thought eventually when the pipes were coming out but it didn't fit so that was a bit of a waste of money but um, it didn't fit so I will make sure I, I sort that out um, I'm just collecting parts really at the moment like I said there's no real rush to make sure this is done this year but I'm hoping things whenever I get time I'll be able to pop into the shed and do a little work on it so yeah, the pond's looking looking nice, I think. it's Like I say, it's stocked really well, and I'm, I'm loving looking at these good quality fish, and I'm pleased that I've taken my time. may not seem like it, but I'm taking my time to select good quality fish from good retailers, um, so I've got a pond that's stocked, and I'm happy with. You know, um, the ace is doing well. Pop that next to the tree. And it's just nice to go outside and enjoy it in the sunshine, really. So that's the whole point of it. If you want to... Uh, see what happens to it you know follow along there's lots more to come and this is my first pond i've kept fancy goldfish for a long time but i've always wanted to keep them outdoors so hopefully this inspires you to maybe give it a go yourself <laughs>